Hey everybody, we're uh, we're back. We're here in Ashenvale trying to get to Darkshore. I want to try and explore a lower level area for the time being, uh, so I'm not using up too many high level areas and whatnot. Uh, if possible, I doubt it's possible, but if possible, I think it would be interesting if I could get into Darnassus and whatnot. I highly doubt I'll be able to do it. I doubt I'll be able to get anywhere nearby. But I'd like to see how close I could get. I'm definitely going to explore Darkshore, because that's that's the most important area available to me. Uh, um... That's the most important area, and then I'd like to get Teldrassil, but again, who knows. After that, I'll come back, do Ashenvale, and then we'll probably do Stone Talon Mountains right after. Or I might... Uh, if I can manage the trick for getting onto the boat to get onto get into Teldrassil, I'll try to do that again by getting onto the boat to get into Menethil. And that will be horrific. That will be absolutely the worst. If I, if I can manage it, it'll be great, but it'll still be a fucking process. Because god damn. Um... Where is the Horde Outpost? It's like over here. So once I get to the coast, I guess I just like hop over and we'll be good. Oh, maybe I hop over this way. Maybe I can hop over this way. Ideally, if there's nothing here to attack me. Good. Oh. There's the thing to attack me. There's that thing I was worried about. Ouch. Ouch. Extra ouch. More ouch. Uh, I'm... Not sure if I should take this as a win. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it, because I'm going to have to just keep hopping back and forth anyway, as it stands. Darkshore is under attack. How is Darkshore under attack? Is it just because I'm here, or...? Because that would be horrific. I would, would not appreciate the alert to my presence. I am Peace Boy, after all. Try and slip past all these guys and just start exploring wildly as I have to. Um, isn't it nice that the Alliance doesn't have to have angry ostriches? Meanwhile, in the Barrens, we get the angriest of ostriches. Oh my god, so silent. Fucking hell. Well, this is Darkshore before we burn down the world tree. So... Yeah. I am not a fan of what that was all about. I'm not, to be honest, entirely. I'm not the biggest fan of how things are going story-wise with retail because like okay I get Sylvanas being evil that's that makes perfect sense actually it makes perfect sense that she's evil because of all the the shit she's a gone through and B she's had to do for her for the undead makes a lot of sense 
I uh, don't disagree with that. My biggest issue is... So the Makara happened. Uh, Sour Fang's Makara. And, well... They made it... It's really pretty. It's a really pretty cinematic. Uh, it's really quite beautifully done, and I appreciate that they're working on all these really nice cinematics. I don't, however, appreciate <laughs> just the... Okay. I get Sylvanas was probably stressed the fuck out. I get she was stressed the fuck out and probably doesn't appreciate some fucking orc who's been around like 60 years being a pain in her ass and challenging her to a Makara. But with all the composure that she did keep half the time, she would know better than to just yell that her very faction is nothing. You know, like... She deceived a lot of fucking people. I know <laughs> she's the bad guy, but... She deceived a lot of people. She's good at it. At least half the time. Oh my god, that's cool. The Master's Glaive. Oh, there's undead here. Or Forsaken, but... Oh. Oh! It's Twilight stuff. Oh man, I completely forgot about the Twilight. Fucking assholes. Um... Yeah, I just... I think... Despite her irrationality in cinematics, I think... With in-game content and other cine and other points, she showed a level of composure that was not present. You know, I don't, I don't fucking care at this point. Savannah's is bad. We've known it from the start. It is what it is. I just would have. I don't know. I thought it was a little too zero to sixty with the whole. The horde is nothing, yada yada yada. You guys are all just like little playthings to me, yada yada yada. And then she still has followers afterwards anyway. She will continue to have followers afterwards anyway, because that is. that's just the fucking case. The dark lady and all that, she, she has the charisma to lead people. But time and time again, <laughs> with these cinematics. They've just thrown that out the window a little bit. You know. Uh, it doesn't much matter. I'm excited for some things that were kind of teased at a little bit. For instance, I'm interested in this... Uh, well, they, what they've done with the party sync. That's really neat. I really... Uh, they fucking needed it. Okay. WoW has needed a party sync option for years. And I'm glad that they finally added it. Um, it might make it might make some of these challenge runs that we do a little bit more. Uh, I guess may just make it a little bit easier, I think, and all that. But oh, I'm not gonna get this camp. Try to avoid getting hurt right now. I'm gonna die. Yep. Um. But yeah, no, I just. I just think that maybe. Maybe there was some other. There could have been some other way for them to go about that. Like, sure, okay. I think. They did right by giving Saurfang his death. Okay, he's been wanting... He's been wanting to die since day one of BFA. He wants his warrior's death. He wants to rest. I'm glad that they gave it to him. And they gave it to him in a way that's very befitting. You know? 
fighting for the what the Horde really stands for at the gates of Orgrimmar. That's really quite the best way they could have done it. And I think maybe that's what they were focusing on more than everything else. You know? I don't know. I'm not, like, an experienced writer. I'm not an experienced, like... I'm not an expert on anything. Don't... Don't believe me if I ever say I'm, like, an expert on anything. But... I don't know. It just... It just felt like they could have done something else. That would have still gotten the same point across without it being so blunt. And not in, like... Not the good kind of blunt, you know? F phrasing, weed, all that, but... Like, if they could have incorporated those... Aspects... In a way that more eloquently showed Sylvanas' like, betrayal. Maybe, I don't know, when her... Just have her use magic anyway. And then people will call her out on it. Do what you guys did for, I don't know, the Warcraft movie, which, you know, may not have been the greatest example. But people were definitely, in the in the movie, the Horde was definitely not cool with, say, Gul'dan or whoever, uh, using magic in the middle of a Mokura. It was a Gul'dan, but, um, like, they're definitely not cool with that kind of stuff. So maybe have her use it from the get-go. And maybe that just empowers the changeover. Oh my god, fuck off. Am I am I not out of your way enough? Thank you. Um yeah, maybe something like that could have just worked out a little bit better. I liked the cinematic, I thought it was really pretty. I just Um, I am, however, excited for some of the future options. Like, uh, I would definitely like to see what they do with the possibility of Shadowlands. I know it's been kind of confirmed that it's not what the fake leak was ages ago. There was a fake leak pretty much going on about how the whole Sylvanas turning thing wasn't going to be her killing. Uh, it wasn't the fight at Orgrimmar, it was going to be instead a, a fake invasion on like Thunder Bluff or something like that. But then that never happened and all that, but yeah. I don't know, I'm excited for some of this new content that might be coming out. I would definitely love to see what they do with, like, the Shadowlands, or... What else? There's, um... I, I was watching this guy, I think is Bellular Gaming, who was going on about the Shadowlands and all that, and what they could do story-wise for that. For instance, they could, uh... The reason that Odin can see into the Shadowlands is because he gave up his eye to a, a spirit there. Uh, they could do something where it continues off of maybe the spirit having his eye being able to see into the real world and all these different things and whatnot. Oh my god. I was just here on Zinion. Like, this is exactly where I was. Just doing all these... Ooh. Ooh. That's right, this is about to get rough. I'd like to explore more Dark Shore before I get... Can I get Aberdeen without... getting Aberdeened? Thank you! Okay. Anyway, that's, that's my thoughts on that. I, uh... That's a... No! No! I'm friendly! I swear! I'm peace... Peace! 
are closer. Yep, okay, I can work with this. Thank you. Um, fucking hell. Yeah, just stuff like that. I need to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to check a couple things. Okay, we've got Pashal Aran. Time to head north. Whew. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with retail. Wow. Well, sort of excited. I. It's in these expansions that people kind of give up on, where they come up with something better. Like uh, Warlords of Draenor, people weren't a huge fan of. So they just dropped it and made Legion, and Legion was fantastic. I absolutely love Legion. Um, and then I was super excited about BFA, but it's not its not quite there. Fucking hell, fuck off. Why are you so fucking fast? Jesus. Um... It's not quite as what I thought it would be. It's still good in its own rights. But it's not... It's not like Legion, or it's not like Wrath of the Lich King. Which I, I was really excited for something like that because of all the... Well, I guess I was getting so caught up on the graphical updates that they were working on. And I liked the idea of all these heritage armors and stuff like that. Because the heritage armors are fantastic. It's a great addition to the game. Works fucking well. Um, what is up here that I can explore? Do I need to get this coastline up here? Frey one. That's a familiar name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That uh that lightened my mood a little bit. The midair death strikes again. Like, this is technically Shadowlands. Like, this whole, you know, bit, that's technically Shadowlands. It's the filter change, it's the running back to your body, this is Shadowlands. Um, yeah. Shadowlands is pretty interesting. I would like to see more they can do with it. Because they've done... So Shadowlands and Emerald Dream are, like, opposites. They're connected in their own rights through Azeroth, I think. And we've seen more of the Emerald Dream. Like in Legion, we saw actual, like, m versions of real world places, not real world, but uh, like Azeroth places, uh, in game places, that are, uh, are just touched by the Emerald Dream. In, in that raid, it was like the Emerald Nightmare, I think. You get to see all that stuff. And it's really it's really interesting and it's really nice looking. Uh, I would just like to see what is possible with uh, Shadowlands. Because they're supposed to be connected. They're supposed to be similar. There's Mist Edge. All right. Oh. I guess that's not enough. Where? Do I need to go? Maybe this way? That's a oh! Oh my god. That's a Pandaren house. Yeah. That's the Pandaren house on a turtle that died. That's really neat, actually. I like that. It's like a little. 
It's a, uh, it's kind of elven, you know, but it's the Pandarans that were the ones living on the turtles. So that's how, how I think it is. Why I think it's a Pandaran ship instead, not ship, Pff, turtle. Uh, where the fuck? Besides, the Pandarans were the ones that were just like grabbing turtles left and right and just being like, you're ours now. We will ride you into combat. And you will agree to this. The fuck is the thing up here? Is it like over here, maybe? I just gotta keep going straight for a second. And hopefully I don't die. Getting back to the road. Trying to live a nice, safe life. Okay. Yeah, probably head over here. See what's what's the dealio. Oof. I'd like to avoid dying again, if at all possible. Oh, uh, we're just about time, so... Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We'll try and finish this up.